Hi friends, welcome to this class. So in last class we were discussing about Papa Varian and we come came up with this structure, right? So we concluded that this is the structure of Papa Varian, right? So in last class we discussed so many reactions. Those reactions let us apply on the structure only now, right? There we didn't know the structure, just we were taking Papa Varian name and we were doing. But now let us apply for this only. So first whenever I do CS3I to this Papa Varian, so see this nitrogen is there, right? So lone pairs will be out of plane, SN2 reaction and I will get this structure. So this will be my product, right? OME, OME and here CH2 and here benzene ring and here OME and OME and here methyl and it gets positive charge. Since it is forming a quaternary ammonium salt. So we, I call it as quaternary ammonium salt only and also from this quaternary ammonium salt only we concluded that this nitrogen is tertiary right so first conclusion which I had concluded in previous video the same reaction I am going to tell it in this video right further the reaction with HI I told four molecules of HI when reacts so here all methyl is there CS3 methyl and CS3 these bonds will be broken O methyl O methyl O methyl O methyl bonds will be broken because see H plus H I means H plus I minus so here our oxygen will be having lone pairs so lone pairs attacks this H plus and it will form OH bond and oxygen gets positive charge and I minus will be there it takes this methyl and this electrolytic goes to oxygen and becomes neutral right so I will get these structures see let me write it right so i'll get this structure now you should be able to write the structure of all those things without saying as i am doing it now right so this is the component you should get right and see in all the cases OM was there now it became OH and i got four molecules of methyl iodide that is analyzed quantitatively they estimated the number of methyl iodide and they found it to be 4 equivalent because of which they concluded that only it contains 4 oxygen which are bonded to methyl and also they analyzed this compound and they found it that this OH is attached to aromatic ring so all these OHs are attached to aromatic ring so it is phenolic right like that the conclusions they got right so reaction with HI and also the reacted with dilute HCl or not dilute it is mild mild HCl they found out that here also O methyl is there O methyl here also O methyl but when they reacted with mild HCl only these oxygens reacted why only those oxygen reacted can you give, give me the reason you should otherwise I will give you no doubt OME OME here CH2 is there it became OH here and OH right only these OCS3 these two only reacted not these these OCS3 didn't react they remained as it is only OCS3 but here they found OH and here OH why this happened the reason is see this nitrogen is the right nitrogen which is isochronic structure so this nitrogen gets this takes this pi bond as it is electronegative its electronegativity is 3.0 right carbon nitrogen yeah 3.0 because of electronegativity it will take this electron density so positive charge again it will give here here positive charge like this this carbon gets positive charge here partial positive charge not complete partial delta positive we can write and similarly this carbon also gets partial positive charge because of this partial positive charge these lone pairs will be there right so they, they are involved in resonance here so here partial double bond will be there so lone pair present on oxygen are not that much to give to this H plus and Cl minus so this won't give to H plus directly right because of this electronegative nitrogen this ring will be more electron deficient and this ring is also electron defici deficient but compared to this it will be electron rich only compared to this ring but uh, you, you generally if, if I want to tell the rings will be electron deficient because of nitrogen which is electronegative atom 
right and here here no nitrogen here ch2 group it is a electron uh, donating group by plus i effect inductive effect so these oxygens when they are there right these lone pairs are rich in electron so this hcl mild hcl will take this lone pair and forms oh whereas not these om is right so this was the few basics right so reaction with ch3i reaction with 4 hi molecule and also one thing you remember in exams what they will do they will give you this uh, papaverin they will tell and methyl halide write the structure question mark they will leave it right so you should know the structure of papaverin and the reaction with methyl halide which product will form everything so this will be asked for two marks so those are also very important right so you should know them all right so i rub <laughs> this not a big deal now we know how to draw the structure of papaverin now right so not a big deal so here we me we me right this is quaternary ammonium salt to this if i add like any bh4 or li lh4 all these are reducing agent so what i'll get i'll get this this product see if i use this reducing agent to this quaternary ammonium salt papaverin when reacted with ch3i it will form quaternary ammonium salt right this one to this if i add any reducing agent these pi bonds are there right here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen here hydrogen comes so what it will do we will get these structures so these things they will ask in exam so you should know och3 och3 and here it is ch2 and here methyl as it is and here benzene ring it is it remains as as it is och3 och3 right so here pi bonds were Removed and there the pi electron density will come. Sorry, the hydrogens will come. So these were the few reactions which we discussed in the initial video. That is in the previous video we saw all those reactions, but now with the structure we saw the uh, reactions. And also now uh, some oxidation reactions. Let us see. Right, those reactions which we studied in last video. Right, so same oxidation. reaction so now this is the structure of papaverin and this is ch2 and here benzene ring and here och3 and och3 here also och3 and och3 and it is isoquinoline just aromatize it right so when i add cold dilute kmn4 oxidizing agent right so dilute cold dilute kmn4 so what i did so we concluded that it it contains ch2 group right since it contains ch2 group this uh, dilute kmn4 will oxidize it and it will form this product so these things they will ask in the exams for two marks so you should know so one h is there right that is converted to oh other things remains as it is only oh ch3 oh ch3 here also oh ch3 oh ch3 right so this product further what they did they added hot dilute kmn4 now what they will get so this secondary this is nothing but secondary alcohol so secondary alcohol when treated with hot dilute kmn4 that will be converted to ketone this structure you should know right here pi bonds are there if i forgot to write them you should and it converted to ketone here see OCS3 and OCS3, right? So this is the reaction, right? And also I had told if we heat the same with this, if we heat for long time, prolonged heating, if we do with the same hot dilute KMN4, this bond will be broken and we will get these products. See, it will break like this, this pi bond and this pi bond. So what product I will get? I will get like this. Here ketone is there. OCS3 and OCS3, right? And here I'll get COOH, and here also COOH. And it is aromatic, right? Yeah. So this compound gave the test for acid also. So I told uh, uh, one of for prolonged heating we got uh, two basic, right? Two means two COOH group are there. One COOH group, second COOH group. 
so it gave test for two sewage group and also it gave the test for ketone i told right so it also gave the test for ketone right so ketone and two molecule of or two equivalent of acid it gave the test right so these were the reactions which we discussed and also there is one more reaction like uh, pepperberin pavin pepperberin pavin rearrangement that i will do video separately i will make a small video on computer screen so that it will be clearly understood to you right so nothing much so we are left with only synthesis after we concluded the structure of pepperberin right so this was the structure of pepperberin so scientists what they did within lab they synthesized the this pepperberin how they synthesized this pepperberin that we shall see in next video till then take care and have a great day